What's going on guys? Girls, mini pearls, naked squirrels. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another awesome episode on The Body Beatdown. Me, Michael, is your incredible host. Me, Michael, ugh. Me, caveman. Anyway, guys, we're gonna cut to the chase here. This is the second time that I've uh, done this video. Uh, the first one I just felt was a little bit long in the, long in the uh, duration. So we're gonna cut right to it on this one, guys. One thing that most people do not want to do when it comes to getting fit and changing their lifestyle is cardio. Cardio is essential for weight loss. It's essential for uh, having a good, strong overall cardiovascular system. It is essential to have a well-rounded uh, body and health, mind, body, and soul along with strength training, diet, and cardio, you're going to get the best results. Let me give you a slight example here of what I'm talking about and why we need it and the changes that we go through uh, at a certain point in time. So from ages zero to roughly 16, okay? Roughly 16, roughly zero. We're running around we're playing basketball, football, baseball, kickball, dodgeball, volleyball. We're riding our bicycles. We're running around outside. We're playing freeze tag with our friends. We're climbing up trees. We're climbing up poles. We're climbing up ropes. We're swinging. We're sliding. We're zigzagging. We're flipping and flopping on the ground. We're going all the time as kids or at least uh, generations before. Um, yeah, that's another story. So up until about the age of 16, we're constantly going. And then many people still are going after that. But let's just keep it around 16 uh, for general purpose here. Then we start slowing down and we start working and we start uh, schooling a little bit more extensively. Maybe uh, college comes into play. Uh, trade schools and this and that and families pop in and uh, you know you get babies and lives going and all that and all of a sudden you're not doing all that stuff that I just mentioned all of a sudden you're going to work you're coming home you're cooking a meal you're sitting around you're going back out you're doing your work you're coming back home you rinse and repeat and before you know it uh, 10 years have passed 20 years have passed 50 years have passed and you're looking way worse than what you should. And some of you can't figure out why it's not working. You're going to the gym, you're working out, or you're working out at home, or you're working construction all day, or you're on your feet all day working food in the food industry, or you're doing this and that, and you're constantly going, and you don't eat a whole lot, or when you do eat, it's uh, not all healthy or anything. So you're wondering, what's the deal? What's the problem? Well. Problem is, number one, your diet. Number two, you're not getting any cardio, guys. You're not getting enough cardio in your daily diet. You have to have it. That's what helps to burn all those extra calories. That's what helps to strengthen your lungs, your heart. Your whole entire body is strengthened by doing cardio. We go from running around and doing all that stuff I mentioned earlier to now we go to spinning on the bike or riding a bike, ellipticals, treadmills, rowers, stuff like that, stairs. Um, we go from that in our, you know, from zero to 16 to now we need to substitute it. And so this is what we're substituting it with. You have to do it. You did it as a kid, you gotta do it as an adult. There's no getting around cardio. And there's no getting around the extreme benefits of cardio. One example, let me go ahead and throw this out to you. Last summer, I decided I wanted to start walking. And I, and I decided that, uh, well, I'm going to go to the high school and I'm going to see if I can jog around the track. And that's a quarter mile track. And I barely was able to puke my way around that track with a slow jog one time. Now, since then, I've been walking and walking. I walk two times a day. 
I jog anywhere from just 100 feet to 5,000 feet, whatever it is. In between there, just to kind of practice and speak, you know, give me a little bit more challenge. Well, a week before my birthday this year, I jogged one mile with ease. So cardio is essential to your overall well-being, along with a good diet. My diet's also changed a lot. So for all of those, all those out there that look down on cardio, for one, you think it's a waste of time. You're fooling yourself and you're lying to yourself and you're lying to other people. Stop doing that. Number two, for all of those out there who have issues doing cardio, you have to look at it as important as picking up those weights and putting them down. It's just an essential part of the game. You have to do it. There's no getting around it. There's about 1% of the population out there that doesn't need it and they just have the extreme exceptional genetics and most of us do not have that. So understand we're leaving out of here knowing that cardio is essential. You have to do it, okay? Don't let anyone tell you any different because I've experienced how much it matters and there is scientific proof to back up how much it matters. Google it. Go talk to your sports doctors and all these athletic professionals. Go talk to them. They'll tell you exactly how important that uh, getting cardio exercise is. If it wasn't important, would you see all these spo uh, big sports players uh, on their you know, off season and all that running around and uh, uh, practicing and having to do drills and all that stuff? No, you wouldn't. They would just be sitting around eating Doritos. So cardio, cardio, cardio is essential, guys. Don't be fooled. Don't be told anything other than that, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to get that out there and let you know uh, that I struggle with you. I do it every day. If you need some sort of guidance and, and a little bit of a push, Hey, why don't you uh, like, share, subscribe to The Body Beatdown uh, because we tackle these things and uh, you're going to see me walking, you're going to see me doing certain things and uh, other stuff and cycling and all that kind of stuff and it'll help guide you on your path, guys. Okay? And while you're at it, hey, check out these shirts. Look at those dead gum shirts. They're beautiful. They have my saying on there. What's my saying? And that is get up, get out, get around, and do it to it. And I think that we can all guess what that means. That means... Get up, get up, get ready, do it to it. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. Be an inspiration to yourself because you can't be an inspiration to anyone else until you can inspire yourself. Okay? We'll see you next time on the body beat down with me, Michael, your incredible host. You have a wonderful Thursday and it's almost Friday. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it. See y'all later. Do your cardio. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.